Well, hello and welcome to our Accelerated Growth Program. This is our ninth video class in this series. And let's take a look at where you're at in the process. So there's 10 steps to our overall process of our program and you are reaching the home stretch. You've done your trigger log, you've reflected on it, you use the information from the trigger log to identify what to work on in your empowerment log. Then you spend time loading up your empowerment log. You did some reflecting and learning from that, and you used what you learned to identify what beliefs you wanted to work on when it came to your abundance log. And now you should have had some time to gather evidence and fill up your abundance log. So we're going to be talking about what happens next. So what you should have been doing these last few days, weeks, however long it's been since you've listened to the last recording, is gathering evidence and really forcing your brain to open up and consider that what you've always thought was scarce for you in the world is actually abundant, not just for you, but for everyone else. And it's because you would put some conditions on it in your mind probably from way back in your childhood, based on the family system that you had in your childhood and your perceptions as a young child as to, you know, what the rules of the world were, which you had no way of knowing at the time. So now that you have several bits of evidence, it's time for you to begin to reflect again. What you should be experiencing now are a lot of aha moments, a lot of shifts. What you really should be noticing is things changing for you a little bit. I would say that for most people, by the time they've gotten to this, it almost feels like they're starting to allow the doors to open a little bit on the need that they identified. So if you felt, like in my case, I felt like I couldn't revel in my accomplishments and feel confident and capable. And once I started having those aha moments, now I'm able to have more accomplishments and really, really enjoy them and not feel like if I enjoy them too much, it's going to make me look too good and make people feel jealous of me and run the other way. So I'm still, though, aware of when I feel uncomfortable in those situations. So, for example, if I'm with somebody else and I'm getting scored a lot higher than them on a competition, I notice the butterflies in my stomach and how I feel a little bit uncomfortable in those scenarios. So it's very, very interesting to observe. But what you should at least be feeling is enough detachment from what's going on to be aware of when you're blocking something and when you're allowing it in. Now, the process of opening this door is not going to be fast, but what you should be feeling now are at least a few moments of having more of what you needed than you ever had before. And it should be, it, you know, it might feel a little weird. You might feel like pushing it away a little bit. You might feel a little bit uncomfortable, but you might also feel some moments of joy. So it's kind of like, as we said, having your eyes closed and suddenly opening your eyes to the sun. It's bright and glaring, but it's not so much like you want to completely close your eyes again because um, if you turn your head away from the direct rays of the sun and you look around, you start seeing things that you couldn't see in the dark. It's the same thing with food. If you've been starving for months and then you eat a feast, you're going to get sick. But if you only eat a little bit, um, it feels really good. And as the days go on, you can enjoy food more and more. So that's the process that you're going through here. It is a process, but now you're going to go into a stage of watching your process. You're going to use just your daily life to be conscious and mindful of what it is that you want to continue to be aware of. And it's almost... So practicing, there's not a lot you have to practice other than awareness, actually, other than noticing, other than really noticing the thoughts in your brain, taking a couple deep breaths, not falling into your reactions, reminding yourself that this is a story that you had that you've made up since you were young. Let me move back to your reflection paragraph. So what you should be doing now 
between now and your next time is to start thinking about what you've been noticing, what you're experiencing now. What have you learned in this whole program? And what do you want to consciously practice to maintain and strengthen this shift? So now you should have at least started experiencing moments of what this shift could feel like for you. And what we want to do is, so we'll say that we've opened the door a crack. And now you know what it feels like to open the door. So what you want to do is continue to slowly open the door and allow more sunlight in. What are the things you need to do in order to keep that process going, to keep slowly opening the door and letting that sunlight in? So that's what this next reflection paragraph is all about. And really, you're just going to be spending a lot of time, again, journaling possibly, writing things down, noticing and thinking. And again, if you're on any calls, discuss with others what you've learned. If you have a mentor in the program, discuss with your mentor what you've learned. If you have coaching calls with me, discuss with me what you've learned. If you don't have coaching calls with me, you still have email access to me, discuss with me what you've learned. Anytime you can write down what you've learned or talk about it with someone, it's going to ingrain it more in your brain. So enjoy this, write, revel in some of these accomplishments, revel in some of these shifts that you've made, and Understand that the expectation is the shifts will be slow, but as long as you're clear about them and you're conscious about them, they will continue to steadily happen. What's gonna, what you want to watch for is just completely forgetting about it, allowing it to settle in the back of your brain, and then just completely forgetting about it. So you just want to keep this present of mind. All right, so until next time, do lots of reflecting.